uh, personally, like, I think the government's sketchy or whatever. Right. I, uh, I know it sounds like it's going off that. track, but I swear it's not. It's, I, I'm going somewhere with this. Wait. Hi, welcome back to Immutant. My name's Alyssa, and with me today I have... Brandon Connerly. And Ryan Connerly. And uh, they're both involved in the church, correct? Yes, ma'am. And how do y'all like volunteer and help out around here? So I help with the lights. I do parking lot and uh, with the kids too as well. Awesome. And uh, I do the parking lot and I mean like I got a pretty face so uh, I bring on a lot of the- <laughs> Do y'all enjoy that? Y'all enjoy volunteering and helping around? Yes, it's very fun. You meet new people. Cool. When, when did y'all start like coming to church, coming to Church of Champions specifically? Well, we can't, well, I was 10 and he was 12, I think, so about five years ago. And when did y'all, like, start, you know, realizing you wanted to help out and volunteer? Probably within, like, a month of being here. Really? We just didn't know how exactly we wa- where we wanted to fit in or help, but we have knew from the start that we wanted to help at a church, so another family. Yeah, awesome. And, um, like, well, I'll just to piggyback off what he said, uh, mm-hmm. like, at first, I just, I didn't really like coming to church because I didn't like waking up early and, mm-hmm. like, coming to sit down in the service and stuff. But after a while, I just didn't want to be so lazy all yeah. the time. So I just decided to step up and do something about it. Yeah. And then y'all are involved in the 210 Church Champion Student Ministry, correct? Yes, ma'am. Is that, how's that? I mean, it's good. It just, it just brings out the leaders uh, a lot, like, me and him. Like, we like to, like, inspire the other kids almost just yeah. to be, like, a little bit more outgoing. Yeah, a little bit what he said. You know, um, we started off young, so we watched the older kids before us. And mm-hmm. it's crazy how, like, you were those kids' age at one point, and now you're the ones that they look up to. You're yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's the best thing. It's the best feeling to feel like like a little kid can just look up to you, you know? Yeah. What's something y'all, like, learned in student, men- like, in the ministry and um, being a part and growing up? Uh, in this like environment, something you've learned from that. Um, well, personally, I learned like to think before I like uh, just react to things. Like mm-hmm. just think about the consequence before like actually doing it, and like that I, I'm a role model. So like I have to like think about if the kids are gonna follow me and doing this act or something. Yeah. Yeah, probably about the same. Just you know, think before you speak. Um, just don't be afraid to like. Walk up to the peer. Don't be afraid to think. Uh, don't care about what other people think about you. Just be there in the, uh, with God, and that's all that matters. Yeah, for sure. And then y'all go on like summer camps and stuff with the ministry as well. Yes, we do. How's that? I, I've never been to one, and I've always wanted to go. Um, and I'm looking forward to hopefully going to the one um, this next summer. How how are those? I mean, it's fun. It got something for everybody. I mean, like, if you like to play sports, they have sports, they have tournaments there, and then they're just, like, a great vibe, like a summer camp vibe. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. This year was very fun. You know, I got to speak in the tongues. Uh, You get to... The worship there is crazy. If you like mosh pits, you can party like a rock star while still learning, uh, like, worshiping God. It's a little... It's cool. It's not like the... I guess some kids nowadays don't like the whole, like, you just stay, uh, stand there and just worship. It's a different type of worship. Yeah. And then uh, this year it was hot, so we were able to play the games at 2 in the morning since it wasn't that hot. Dang. So it's a lot more fun. Stuff, yeah. it's, a, it's a great experience. Lots of kids always get uh, baptized and stuff. Oh, wow. I think that's awesome, like, getting to go to something so fun, but also getting to, like, praise the Lord and worship with, like, your friends around you. That, I mean... Is, and then you were talking about how you talked in, in tongues. Do you want to elaborate on that? Because that's something I feel like most people don't experience, and if not it, not at such a young age especially. So how, how, was, how was that? So at first I was praying to God, worshiping, and I did the, what the typical or what most kids do and just say, I'll, I'll try to get the Holy Spirit tomorrow. Tomorrow, when I heard God telling me to go up on the stage, Brandon, and I tried to block it, and then the, it's crazy because the pastor comes up and he says the devil's probably ch- uh, trying to tell you you can wait till tomorrow. So that really hit me. So I go on the stage and within like five seconds of praying, I feel this weird sensation in my stomach and it just starts flowing, flowing the words, and it's really? just it's amazing. It's like it's as if you're watching your body in front of you speak, and it's crazy. Wow, I feel like that's something a lot of Teens especially kind of, um, I guess you'd say question. They're kind of like, I don't understand it. 
And I feel like it's not something you really understand until it happens to you. And you can, you're like, I don't even really know. It's just something like an out of like body experience. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because kids just, you know, often think like, oh, I'll wait till I'm an adult because that's when I'll be mature enough. But like, if you really get into it and you just take those journeys and just like walk on water, I guess, like uh, how it happened, um, you, you just get a marriage experience. You won't regret it. and It'll be just awesome. Yeah. That's so fun. And I think, like, a lot of times now, like, even when the the teenagers and the youth get close, mm-hmm. they don't, like, realize that it's something different. And a lot of the kids don't like different. So that as soon as it comes, they just start to shut it down. Yeah. No, I I, I totally agree. I feel like, like, how, what are y'all, y'all's opinions on, I don't know how it is at your high school, but I feel like at my high school, a lot of kids are, I don't know if ashamed is the right word, but, like, to come to church or to say, I'm I'm going to church or... I'm volunteering and helping for my church. Is it how is that at your school? Well, I know when when I was in middle school, uh, I went to a lot of my friends were um, like uh, their parents were church uh, Easter goers or Christmas goers. They twice a year, mm-hmm. so you know I was like um, just come to church with me, and then um, they just got so in tune with God, you know, having more and more fun, and I ended up having uh, two of my friends get baptized. Actually, oh, wow, that's awesome. And not only that, I just feel like. When they come, well, I feel like everybody thinks as soon as you say like church that it's like a formal thing, like you just sit down and read the Bible and yeah. you can't say bad words or cuss or sin, like you can't do that. And I think that's why a lot of the kids like feel a type of different way when people say church around them and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. I feel like at my like at my school, it's kind of, I would do this, I can't talk, like I'm not, uh, they don't want to be labeled as a the Christian girl or guy or when in reality, it's just it's it's a, something that we value and love to do and go to. And I, I mean, I love coming to church on Sundays, even though some days uh, you can't be like, oh, you hear your alarm clock go off, and you're like, oh god, I gotta get up. But like, <laughs> once I'm here and being greeted at the door and greeted like outside in the parking lot, it's just a welcoming feeling. Finally, like you know, and everyone hugging you, and you're just, I. It's very like. Well, I guess welcoming, I say again. I was trying to find a better word, but uh, especially church, like, here. But Yeah, because I know before, we had just moved here from South Texas, and it was crazy because we went to this church before, uh, sorry, Church Champions, you were our second option. But um, <laughs> we went to this church, and um, we walked in, and it's like they're just doing their own thing. Nobody welcomed us, nothing. So we, we didn't know how to get there. So, well, you don't want to be part of a church that's like, like a like you, you want to be known you want to have a family within the church so we yeah. come in church of champions within five seconds they greet us at the door they escort well we were little then so you know they escort us to the kiosk to check us in mm-hmm. put us in had amazing experience with the kids in the back with the worship and everything and ever since then it's just been a welcoming church you know people always like coming here because like you as, it, as soon as you come in no matter what you you go uh going through at home it's like it stays behind that door and you're just welcome and yeah. embraced yeah I totally agree, especially even like um, we uh, attended an, another uh, church before we c- came back to Church of Champions as well. And it was just you couldn't really talk to the pastor one on one. You couldn't talk to the worshipers. It was kind of just like you you did your own thing. But here I just I think it's amazing how you can have a connection and a relationship with the pastor and he will he will stand there and pray with you and worship with you and and you can have a relationship with everyone. It's like a big family. No one's like, oh, I can't talk to you. I have to go do this. It's like if you want to be involved, talk to us, and you can be involved. And I love that about um, this church. But. Yeah, just to say, like, I like this church, too, because they're a lot, like, they're outgoing. So yeah. they, they're not going to shut you down if, like, you're trying to, like, volunteer or nothing. Like, yeah. there's a place for everybody here. No, for sure. I, I 100% agree. And it's been a, amazing, like a blessing coming to this church and a meeting at all the new faces and new people. And, okay, uh, I have qu- questions and topics that we can, like, some, like, fun things just to, I like hearing people's opinions on different things. Y'all ever like that? You're like, what's, what do y'all think about that? Because, so I have one through, let me see, one through 64. So what if y'all can choose a number and then just... You know, see what the topic is or question. Uh, 17. 17? Okay. This one's fun. Okay. What do you think 
and we don't have to get too deep into this if y'all don't want to. What do y'all think about um, politics and how people can act when this topic is brought up? And is there any situation where it's been brought up and you're like, oh gosh. I just think uh, a lot of kids try to get into it too young. Like just experience being a child. I know yeah. your mom and your dad might have certain things to say about the thing, but at the end of the day, everybody has opinions. People are going to mm-hmm. think what they're I think Just enjoy being a kid. Like don't yeah. even stress that type of stuff. Yeah. And uh, I think like a lot of the kids now are trying to grow up too fast. So even like, even their opinions mean nothing. Like, even as adults, like, everybody has their own opinion. Yeah. No, I 100% agree. Like, sometimes it's just, okay, this again. Like, there's going to, you're not, everyone in the room is not going to agree and be like, and even if you do agree on, like, the, like, sort of the same thing, there's always in depth going into that, you're going to disagree on something. And I feel like that's with everything, like, bringing up, okay, I don't know, this is kind of changing the subject, but, like, kind of not changing it. There was a show on Netflix and it was about social media and it was talking about how like on everyone's phones, they like, do y'all believe in people like listening through your phones? Well, I mean, uh, personally, like I think the government's sketchy or whatever. Right. I Uh, I know it sounds like it's going off track, but I swear it's not. I'm going somewhere with this. But I think that's just because, like, the way I was raised, like, the movies I was watching and Mm -hmm. the stuff that was going on in my life, I think, like, they were just, like, a little, something was a little off. Uh Uh-huh. So, that's, like, personally, yeah, I do think that. Right? What about you? I think about the same. I think with about, like, a switch of a button, it's it's crazy how social media shuts down or whatever. Yeah. And it's just, I just think it's weird. They kept me listening. I don't know. I feel like, have y'all ever, like, been talking about something, maybe some shoes you want, and then there's an advertisement for it, or, like, a TikTok about it, and you're like, I swear I was just talking about that. And then it pops up. Well, okay, so on this show, on on Netflix, I don't know, I forgot the name of it. If I find it, I'll tell you what it is. I have Netflix right here. But, um... It, they were talking about how on people's phones, they will put certain things. So on your phone, they'll put that iPhones are the best phone ever. And then on yours, they'll be like, no, this is the best phone ever. And so now you have an opinion, you have an opinion. And it's so that like everyone always has different opinions and no one, because if everyone had the same opinion, like it would just be... Cookie cutter. Yeah. So they were talking about how they specifically on certain people's phones that they'll put something on your for you page or something on your Instagram to make sure people have different opinions and I was like I was like y'all kind of telling us that y'all looking at what we're doing but I don't know I always thought that was I don't know kind of weird because I feel like my phone listens to me sometimes yeah and I feel like a lot of the times like with the different opinions on the phones like it creates a lot of chaos and yeah. then the social media like that's they feed off the chaos so yeah. that's how all that becomes what are what, what do y'all think about TikTok are y'all are y'all on it I do be on it quite a bit when I should be doing my <laughs> physics work <laughs> yeah I'd be on it too because like I just like to see all the different types of stuff that yeah. like people like people's sense of humor and mm-hmm. like how different type of people of different cultures and ethnicities like how they act. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah, and it's crazy how like you have families that just act as chaotic as yours, or like yeah. you'll be thinking of a comment and you go look at them comments and somebody's thinking the same comment yeah. as you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's it's crazy. Now I've only just like the app itself and how much time. Have you ever checked the screen time on your phone and how yeah. much you've been on TikTok? I use. I think that's my most used app on my phone. Really? Yeah, probably. When I first got into it, I was like, why y'all all use that TikTok? It's lame. Gave it a <laughs> shot, and then I've been glued to it ever since. That's how everyone is, I feel like. Once you get on it, you can't stop, Cause especially when it tracks to you. It's like for you pages for you. You're yeah. like, you keep swiping, and then it's weird how like someone else have a different page. You look at theirs, you're like, oh, that's so boring. Why <laughs> you have that on your page? Not only that, like people becoming like celebrities... Yeah. On tic- that. Do you think they're considered celebrities or you think they're like mm. well, I mean, I feel like it's a little bit easier to like become a celebrity cuz yeah. you don't have to do so much like digging and stuff yeah. because it's just like they're right in front of your eyes. Yeah. So like I feel like a lot of like and it's a lot of younger kids on that app. Mm-hmm. So like I just feel like it's easier for them to find a role model that yeah. they just want to be like. I agree. Especially um like I think it's crazy cuz like people will go to school for like acting or for this or modeling and these people who are just like one day had a video go viral or like they're just given the opportunity which is crazy to me are y'all y'all post on there or y'all kind of just like 
Um, I did post one time. Uh, only like it was like a challenge, like uh, how many likes, mom, for you to get me this. Uh huh. Oh, I've done that too. So I was trying to go viral. She said a thousand. <laughs> with my luck, I get a thousand. So did you actually? Yeah, I took it off. As, uh, it was it was like so embarrassing to the point oh. they liked it because it was embarrassing. Oh. But, like it, it, I was at the point where like if somebody found this at school, I would be the class joke. I got to take it off. I got what I wanted. Yeah. Thanks, mom. <laughs> do y'all, okay, do y'all feel like as like as like males like on TikTok or like boys on TikTok? Do y'all feel like je- like oh I can't post that because that people <laughs> at school are gonna see? Is well, yeah, I think that's just like now in society, like all yeah. the men have to be like a certain type of way, yeah, and that's how like it turns them into like how they can't post this or can't yeah. look at that because like they'll be judged a different way. Mm-hmm. And I know that well before TikTok it was musically. Yeah. And I was in like fourth grade, so I'm posting carelessly. <laughs> yeah. I have this whole file of uh. all my stuff that's still on there and people are finding it. So <laughs> obviously if them laughing at me, I'm not I'm gonna be a little sheltered yeah. down because I you know Did y'all heard dub when oh, no, was it dub smash or no video star? Yeah, video star? I, I had dub smash, but oh. I, uh, I I got it too embarrassed. Yeah, my mom found videos like recently about it was video stars where you put play music in the back and there's different filters you could like dance to it. And I was like, oh, I thought it was so cool. I'd watch it back and I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, that one's cool. And now I'm watching it like that's so embarrassing. It's so like social media and like the internet and phones and computers are just crazy like in general. But yeah, anything else to add to our TikTok phone? Uh, no. Y'all good? Yeah, we can get uh, Okay. Um, so it was great having y'all on and getting to meet y'all too because it's the first time I've actually like formally met y'all. I, w- I always see you at the parking lot though and <laughs> greeting, but I've never like formally met y'all. It was good meeting y'all. And then um, announcing to the audience, Brandon will be co-hosting with me for Unmuted Christmas. So that'll be really fun. I needed a little partner to help me out because I'm kind of nervous. But uh, that'll be really fun, really exciting. I'm really excited for that. And if you haven't bought your tickets, make sure you go do that because there's going to be movies and Ryan um, Kennedy and Charity Gale will be singing. So that'll be super fun. I have friends, youth singing. There'll be raffles and contests and you can dress up in your PJs. And it'll be really fun and really exciting. So if you haven't got your tickets, make sure you go do that and thank you all so much for coming on thank you Um, (laughs) have a great day bye i hope you enjoyed this episode make sure you follow our instagram tiktok at church of champions houston and subscribe to the youtube if you have any stories you'd like to share topics you'd want me to talk about comment down below thank you have a great rest of your week